Meg, finish your pancakes. Chris, elbows off your father. Thanks, Jen. 37 beers. Well, you're setting a great example for the kids, Peter. Yeah, a new family record. Way to raise the bar, Dad. Chris, you're 13. Don't talk like that. Now, kids, Daddy only drank so the Statue of Liberty would take her clothes off. Peter, what did you promise me last night? I wouldn't drink at the stag party. And what did you do? Drank at the stag party. Oh, I almost walked right into that one. <laughs> oh, God. Feels like there's accountants cranking ad machines in my head. Dick, you ever wonder what's outside those walls? Say now, that's dangerous thinking, Paul. You'd best stick to your work. <laughs> okay. You see, Peter, a hangover is nature's way of telling you I was right. I mean, you... Oh, Mom, are you all right? My goodness, this chair leg was loose. Isn't that silly? I could have broken my neck. Damn. Look, honey, I took a cab home. I slept on a table so I wouldn't wake you up. Nothing bad happened. Well, I, I guess you're right. Apology accepted. All right, I'm going to work. Somebody's got to put food on this table. How are you coming, Johnson? Well, Mr. Weed, I've been working on the new G.I. Jew line, and as you can see, they look great. You call these bagels? Whoa! I'm glad he's on our side. Peter! What the... Are you sleeping on the job? Uh, uh no, there's a, a bug in my eye, and I'm trying to suffocate him. Peter... I like you, but I need you to be more than just eye candy around here. It's your job to watch for any toys that could be hazardous to children. Now look sharp. Uh, yes, sir. And now back to Action News 5. Our top story tonight, when toys attack. Quite a situation we've got here, Tom. Quite a situation we've got here, Tom, indeed, Diane. It seems the happy-go-lucky toy company of Quahog, Rhode Island, has released several highly unsafe toy products into the retail market. Come on, Timmy, throw the silly ball. Oh, boy, a pound poochie. Come on, baby Heimlich, spit it out. Peter, I am appalled. Your negligence has damaged this company's reputation. You're fired! Ah, oh, jeez, for how long? Oh, my God, you got fired? Way to go, Dad. Fight the machine. How do you know about the machine? Now, don't worry, kids. Your father's still going to put food on this table, just not as much, so it might get a little competitive. Who cares about food? Now we'll never be able to afford my lip injections. Hey, uh, Peter, can we put her out in the yard for a while? Okay, who's hungry? Ah, oh, jeez, how the hell am I going to break this to Lois? If she finds out I got fired for drinking... She's going to blame me. Lie to her. It's okay to lie to women. They're not people like us. Uh, I don't know. Hey, where's the other guy? Come on, you bastard. I'm late for work. Oh, 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 this is perfect. Look, I, I don't want your mom to worry, all right? When she worries, she says things like, I told you so, and stop doing that. I'm asleep. So I'm just going to tell a little lie, okay? Now, not a word to your mom about me getting canned. What's that, Peter? Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, oh, the lost my job smells great. What? Uh, uh, Meg, honey, can you pass the fired my ass for negligence? Peter, are you feeling okay? <laughs> I feel great. I haven't got a job in the world. All right, then, let's eat. Now, I know you all hate eggplants, but... <laughs> oh. What on earth was that? What the deuce are you staring at? It's tuna fish. And nothing else. 